The wrap command allows you to take a sketch and smooth it onto another surface in order to create a new datum curve, sort of like placing a bumper sticker on a surface. Let's take a look at how to use this. I'm going to start off by creating a sketch on this datum plane. I will choose the sketch command from the mini toolbar. Let me go to a sketch view and I'm just going to sketch in a rectangle. Let me change to the center rectangle. I'm just going to drop it right at the intersection of my sketch references and then drag it out and let's make it so big. Let's make it about a width of 80 and a length of 180. Then I will hit the check mark to complete my sketch. And now with it still selected, I'll go to the editing overflow menu and then click on the wrap command. Be aware you do not have to have the sketch selected before you execute the command. If you don't select it in advance, then you can select it when you are inside of the command. Let's take a look at the interface. First off, if I go to the references tab here, you can see the sketch. It automatically placed it on the solid geometry. You can use the unlink button to break the dependency between the sketch inside of the wrap command and the sketch that you selected. In other words, make an independent copy of the sketch. Right now they are linked, so if, I'm, if I make changes to sketch one, then my wrap, my datum curve will automatically update. Here we see that it's using the geometric center of the sketch as sort of the tack point for starting out smoothing the curve onto the other surface. And on the options tab, there are a couple different options in here, like to ignore intersection surface and trim it boundary. I'll show you that later on. And the properties tab, as always, is a place where you can change the name of the feature. I will hit the check mark and you can see the curve that is created. Let me select it over here. And again, it, Imagine taking that rectangle and then smoothing it onto the surface, sort of like a bumper sticker. And when you smooth it onto the surface, it's going to try to retain the original length of the source sketch when it can. One of the restrictions on using this is that you can only place it on developable or mapped surfaces. What I mean by that is you can take something and smooth it out flat. For example, imagine trying to take a bumper sticker and place it on a soccer ball or a basketball. You're not going to be able to smooth it out. It's going to end up wrinkling and in those situations the wrap feature would fail. Let's take a look at changing the original source curve. And I'm going to change the width of this. Let's try changing it to a much higher value of 120. Ah, let's go a little higher. Let's go with 140. And that way, now it should be smoothing onto part of this curved surface over here. Ah, make it a little bigger just for insurance. Let's hit the check mark. And now you'll notice that the wrap feature is failing. It's not allowed to smooth it onto the surface that has curvature in more than one direction. Because again, bumper sticker wouldn't smooth onto that surface neatly. If we go back to the original sketch and edit the dimensions, let's change this down to a value of 100 and then regenerate. The wrap feature is going to end up working again. There you can see it's in the model. Let's take a look at some of the other different options available with the wrap feature. Here I am in a different model and I've got a datum plane with a sketch located on it. Let me select the sketch and edit definition to show you one difference about this sketch compared to the other sketch. In this sketch, I have a sketcher coordinate system, a coordinate system that I dropped in here using this command. When you have a sketcher coordinate system located inside of your sketch, that is the tack point that's going to be used as the start of the smoothing out of the sketch onto the geometry. Let me go to my normal view. And again, I had the sketcher coordinate system over here. 
So now when we use the wrap command, again, I'll go to the modeling tab and then editing overflow in wrap. If I go to the references tab, first thing I want to know is what sketch do I want to use? I will select that sketch and the destination is the geometry by default. You'll notice from this drop down list, right now is using the starting point as the sketcher coordinate system. It's starting from this location, projecting it onto the geometry, and then wrapping the curves onto the surface. And so in this way, you can see that my wrap is sort of like biased towards the left-hand side. Instead of ha using that sketcher coordinate system, I can go to the drop-down list and choose the center option. And so now it's starting from the geometric center of the sketch over here and then smoothing it out in both directions. And now it's more symmetric about the geometry of the part. So again, you could use a sketcher coordinate system if you have one as the basis for the start of the smoothing of the curve. Let's hit the check mark. Now let's take a look at a, another example. So again, we have a part, we have a sketch. Let's go to the wrap command and then select the sketch that we're going to wrap and it automatically projects it onto the geometry. Right now it's using a sketcher coordinate system located at the center of the left surface. Let's change this to the center. Again, it looks the same right now. Again, it's just projecting it downwards. But let's go to the Options tab. You'll notice that Ignore Intersection Surface is automatically checked. In other words, it's ignoring this geometry in here as it's smoothing out and maintaining the distance between the centers of the circles. But now if we uncheck this option, you'll notice that this ends up shifting over. It's no longer ignoring this intersection surface. And again, it's taking this like a bumper sticker and smoothing out over the surfaces. If I check it back, it's going to ignore this as area for the bumper sticker to smooth over. Let's change the option from center here to sketch your coordinate system and then uncheck the option. And again, you'll notice now it's smoothing out starting here and going down into this little cut over here and back over so it shifts it. If we check the option, you know, it's sort of like it's more projected straight down onto the geometry from the location of the circles. Again, pretty profound difference between these two options. Here I have a situation where I have a circle that is extruded in order to generate a surface and the ends are capped on here and I'm going to try to wrap this straight line curve onto the surface. I'll select it and then go to editing and then wrap and right now it shows that again it's projecting from the center. I don't have a sketch or coordinate system so it's grayed out but I'm not getting a preview because it's having a problem. It's noticing that the curve is going beyond the boundaries of the part. Let's go to the Options tab, and here we have the other option to trim at boundary. And if we trim at boundary, now it's able to wrap it on here because it's cutting it off as it gets to the sides of the surface. Let's hit the check mark. And that way we have our new wrap feature created. And be aware, it automatically hides the original sketch, but you can unhide the sketch if you want to. So again, the wrap command allows you to create a new datum curve by smoothing a sketch onto your geometry. And again, that geometry has to be mapped or developable. You do have to be able to smooth it out into a flat surface. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.